on today's show, the first in our Lockdown Diaries special. This is 30 Minute Music Marketing. 30 Minute Music Marketing. For musicians who want to get better at marketing their music. Hi, I'm Greg. Hello, I'm Sheldon, and this is 30 Minute Music Marketing, the show for independent artists and DIY musicians who want to get better at marketing their music, or that was the format of the show until this whole thing er erupted, and maybe people aren't necessarily doing as much marketing as they previously have done before, but uh, we, as independent musicians and professionals within the music industry, we need to get by, Greg, don't we? We do. Uh, I mean, it's funny that you mentioned that nobody's doing much marketing. I've seen more live performances well, by musicians over the last, especially the last week. Well, that's something. That's something we can uh, we can talk about. If you know, as we were saying in our last episode, if something good has come out of uh, this particular uh, scenario that we're in at the moment, it's the fact that musicians have finally cottoned on to the fact that, you know what, you can actually use your phone and maybe use your uh, your laptop and reach people. Who'd have thought it? You know, it's not like I've been trying to, you know, I've been banging on about this for the best part of goodness knows how many years. But, hey, if it's taken them a global pandemic to uh, to get their acts into gear, then so be it. At least they're doing it now and no doubt reaping the rewards. I think some people have been quite surprised at the reaction. Some people have put in like PayPal details to take donations or tips. I think they're kind of labeling it as such. Uh, nobody's actually mentioned the amount of money they're making. Um, but, you know, I think it has definitely surprised some people in terms of it is just as you said it's strange that it takes literally someone pinned into a corner for them to change their ways and then they suddenly go oh i didn't realize it could be like this it will be interesting to see whether people's old habits you know are uh, reverted to once all this is over or whether that that people basically can almost like dual uh, i was going to say use the term dual stream but stream not in that particular context yeah, i know what you mean so so are people just going to revert to the fact well i don't need to do that now because i can go out and perform live or as they should do go right yes i'm going to go out and perform live and in a dual capacity i'm going to keep up that that uh, internet live streaming presence in order to uh, you know to keep entertaining the people that aren't necessarily going to go out um, watching me live, or I can use the internet and live streaming to to you know to build up my online presence and my online fan base. So by increasing the online audience, we can get them to shows in real life. Well, that's the other. Th I mean, that's the thing. I mean, something else that obviously most people have only been doing this by themselves. And then, you know, they might be part of a group, but they've only really done this like solo wise rather than doing it as a collective. So I think, yeah, if you're right. I mean, it's very easy to go back to old habits, but hopefully they'll see the benefit that this can bring to their brand and also continue it um, afterwards. Otherwise, you know, it's almost like this would have been for nothing. And hopefully then they'll actually start to do, um, you know, web presentations with with the whole band you know yeah. there's no reason why you know they should be able to expand upon this rather than just kind of either stop or just carry on as it is so the 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 format of the show has changed somewhat it, it has pivoted because of uh, world events and when we're sort <laughs> of uh, maybe trying to keep a weekly diary of what we've been up to sort of the, the past sort of seven days uh, i've been checking out zoom for the first time. Have you had your computer hacked? Uh, I haven't had my... Uh, obviously, you know, as to be honest, as with lots of software, you know, th th there are perhaps certain issues, but as with most things, you know, if it's used in a responsible manner, if perhaps uh, passwords are uh, utilised in, in order for people to have successful entry to your uh, to your video calls, I think, I think it's... Um, uh, I think it's it, it it's going to be perfectly safe 
for for most people, uh, especially musicians. So I'm only sort of dipping my toes in it at the moment. Um, did there you is... say you did a pub quiz via it? Uh, yes. Um, so uh, one of the pieces of content that uh, myself and my band are making at the moment is a uh, is a virtual pub quiz. And after some technical issues recording uh, last week's pub quiz, I switched to Zoom, which was successful because it did uh, all its recording in app. And it saved it all uh, locally uh, to my hard drive. That's even on the uh, on the free version. So uh, using that was a was a success. And um, I picked up. Uh, I managed to find uh, a copy of a um, uh, what what I'd call it. Not necessarily a manual. Uh, just a, a quite an extensive guide as to how to get to grips with Zoom and also how to get to grips with it using um, external equipment. So if you're using external microphones or external cameras, it's it especially um, this thing is especially, especially designed for musicians for them to, uh, you know, to, to perhaps get more out of Zoom than the average Joe Punter would. So okay. um, that's a that's a free PDF. So we'll uh, we'll include that in the uh, the show notes. Okay. Uh, for this particular episode. So yeah, um so it, it's much better perhaps than um just using OBS for screen capture. Although you can link Zoom up to OBS. So if you want to do a um let's just call it a hangout for the for the sake of it, you know, a, a group call, you can still stream that live with OBS. And it's it's got some quite nifty things in that even though I might be able to record and be the host of the call, I can pass the hosting privileges onto you, Greg, and, and I can be recording from my end, but you can be controlling things remotely from your end. Okay. So, there's, there's, so there's I can be the logistics side. You can, so yes, I and I can be the tech side. And then I, so I could be the producer and talk to you in your ear and, and say... Yes, and the reason how I found all this out is that I um, I participated. I was in the audience of a live comedy gig that was uh, that was uh, that took place over Zoom this week. So, I mean, from what I gather, Zoom's been out there for quite a while, hasn't it? In terms of the technology, and it seems you know, like a lot of these things, the technology's been there for ages, and for the most part, most people have ignored it or thought it's not really relevant to them. And now suddenly, you know, it's like the most important thing, the ability to, uh, you know, communicate via online and stuff like that. It's, it's almost kind of, you know, it, it threatens the HS2 line being put uh, down because people don't need to travel like we did. It's funny, as a contrast, I did read a tweet that said that Zoom's valuation has increased so much in the past couple of weeks that its stock valuation is now worth more than all the major world airlines combined. Seriously? Seriously? Well, you know, obviously I only read that on the internet, so... Uh... <laughs> It must be true. It must be true. But yeah, and, and this particular setup of the of the comedy gig, someone was actually running and streaming the gig from Newcastle, but uh, the host host privileges were delivered to a chap who was running it, but in Bristol. And we were all. Um, I was in the audience, based up here in the in the northwest of England and there was I think three comedians who were technically in the audience but what happens is uh, the spotlight um, midway through the gig is put on each of the performers and they they performed and you I don't you've probably not used zoom yet Greg no not yet there's, di there's different views but you can actually see all the people who are um within so you can almost chat. do like a multi screen of your audience yes <coughs> and, and you, talk and, to them and you can talk to them, you can hear them laughing. And so uh, this is uh, one of my uh, comedian friends who's just trying to find new formats. So he's got uh, an online um, comedy gig that he's doing. He's doing an online sort of game show. And obviously, as a, as a, uh, as a stand-up comedian, his income has received an absolute battering uh, mm -hmm. because, of the, uh, because of the pandemic. But he's really invigorated and really excited just for the fact that it's prompted him. It's, it's given the necessary kick up the behind yeah. to actually go, right, I'm not just, I'm, I'm just going to do what I've always done. I'm going to try and 
think out of the box and try and come up with with something new and he's he's really excited as for all the possibilities that it can be achieved and and not only this zoom easily allows you to host a uh, a paid for webinar i okay. think you just you just, just you just basically you just basically just basically set up a price point as to what you want uh, the ticket for the webinar to cost you know whether it's five pounds ten pounds two pounds and you can use paypal to easily generate a link and presumably you know you can mm. specify as to how many um uh, spaces there are on the webinar and you can actually use that to host a a paid for gig so pretty easy so on that basis for me because i mean it's funny that you mentioned about um kind of when put in a corner that people either adapt or die as i'm sure the common phrase is it's i myself have been looking at how to move stuff online and <clears throat> But before I kind of go into some more details on that, so realistically, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not the virus, um, is that, um, you know, you were saying about people doing gigs and stuff on, um, do you, uh, are they literally just doing this from home? Or do you think there would be benefit going somewhere like an establishment like mine where we have better cameras and the ability to streamline it better do you and then so say for example for bands to do an online gig now using this platform where they can sell tickets do you think that would become a potential not a viable alternative but an a viable addition well i think at the moment um certainly our government advice is to uh, is to stay indoors and stay home but i mean and post I think, once the the, the lockdown oh, is yeah finished. um obviously uh yeah, I mean, obviously, at the moment, everybody, well, certainly all the participants of the uh, of the comedy gig that I was watching, they were literally either just using their laptop or their phones. But it's quite easy, and, you know, this is one of the things that I'm going to be doing over the next seven days, <coughs> just investigating, right, okay, well, I've got my audio interface, if I stick that with my MacBook, and you know what, I've actually, I've, I've had all the bits and pieces... Uh, pardon my uh, uh, I've, I've had desk stands for for microphones and i've never i'm you know i've i'm actually going to have a little bit of a dabble myself and just connect my condenser mic to my interface to my macbook see if i can get that working with streaming just so i can improve the audio quality of the videos that i do from my end and i i th i think it it this this is almost this particular period it's like um it's it, it's a bedding in ground it probably these things are, are being done very ad hoc at the moment but are you saying people, that people are literally making this up as they go along very much so yes, yes. but but just almost seeing what the technology well they're getting used to this, people are getting used to the technology and seeing exactly what it can do once people realise what it can do, right? People are going right. Well, I'll start with just the basics, and then it's like, okay, once I've, once I've mastered the basics and a bit of the software, how do we how do we improve this? In maybe in terms of audio quality, in terms of video quality. I've lots of I've seen lots of musicians talk about using DSLRs and interfacing with Blackmagic uh, interfaces to get. Uh, DSLR video into their computers for live sort of streaming and I think incrementally the production values will get better and better and I think now at the moment this is just a, a, a particular period where just audiences are getting used to watching content uh, being streamed by musicians from their uh, from their sort of front rooms and what have you so i think this is this is almost like the bedding in period yeah. the period where whereby the audience at home are just getting used to to this format because it's almost like a new format for for the audience never mind the uh, yeah. <clears throat> the uh, the performers well, so I've seen it, a lot of people doing dj sets uh, at home and literally stream to Facebook and people having Facebook parties. Actually, talking of that, did you hear about the police in Liverpool who decided to turn up at the comedy club to shut the place down, not realising the place was already closed and it was a live recording from three weeks previous? I, I didn't hear about that. No, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's very funny. Yeah, they were like, well, we're so on this. We're going to shut these people down. 
And like, now we're already closed, mate. This is from like the beginning of March. <laughs> But, but uh, you know, but again, what you have to remember is that don't necessarily feel as a musician that the content that you're creating, the content that you're streaming necessarily has to be all music related. If you want to do a cooking show, you do that. You know, if you want to have a, uh, a, a particular paint along session, I mean, these uh, tweet along parties are, uh, are, are quite popular at the moment. Tim Burgess from the Charlatans, he's he's picking classic albums and he's encouraging the uh, you know the, the people who made um, uh, the uh, said albums to tweet along with him. So it, you know, uh, you should try and maybe think about the communal experience, the, the, the shared experience. So not just necessarily here's you know a performance from me just think about how you can interact and and share a common experience with the uh, you know with your audience at home yeah well that's uh i mean that's kind of leads nicely to the stuff that i've been trying to do this um this week which was to um try and shift as much as what i can do online so i'm now will be offering mixing that you could actually be sat in the mixing session from the comfort of your comfy chair uh, listening and watching the Pro Tools session whilst I mix it, and <clears throat> you can be monitoring it within the control room at Abbey Road Studio 3. So we're both listening to Abbey Road, the music as if it was played in the studio at Abbey Road Studio 3, and you can view and listen to the music in up to 32-bit floating point, uh, which is very, very high quality, um, if you wanted, and be involved in the mixing process uh, from the comfort of your own chair and this will be something that we can offer post this um, apocalypse uh, time period so it, it's given me a way to um, add an additional service on um, Fiverr for example and so this was me actually doing some research and actually implementing the stuff that I talked about uh, in last week's podcast the other thing is I've um, been looking at using my Sony camera with a Blackmagic web presenter box to then record via OBS and streaming via YouTube live on unlisted links. <clears throat> so I could do classes and stuff like that. But um, having the ability via Zoom to do PayPal payment stuff, I'm definitely going to be looking at that to see what it's like. What's the latency like on it? Uh, uh, latency like on, on what? Sorry, Greg. On Zoom. So, say for example, when you're all having your kind of conversation thing, is there is there like a big lag between you saying something and the person here at the other end hearing it? No, I, th I think it's it, it's about the same as it would be for the the conversation mm -hmm. that we're that that we are having. I think. If if you're just having normal conversations, there's all, nearly always a little bit of a pause while somebody tries to collect their thoughts. So I, I think I think I think it just comes in within the the general boundaries of, of normal conversation. I, I don't think there's there's anything you know as long as you're uh, just doing uh, just general uh, conversation type um, content. There's there's nothing that's um, that's too def detrimental. I don't think as long as long as you've got a, a reasonably fast internet connection. And a reasonably powerful computer. To... I, 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 yeah, um, I think Zoom. The only difficulty Zoom has uh, with with computing is a. If obviously you're using OBS at the same time, and also b. Uh, Zoom has got a facility whereby you can green, you can force a like a green screen effect and give yourself a um, a really? different background. <clears throat> yes. So, so I noticed that you've got quite a, a plain background behind you. Yes. So, if you have a reasonably fast uh, computer, you can ins or phone, you can insert a, any JPEG that might be on your device and uh, insert it as a. Oh, okay. uh, background. They really have I, thought I, about this, haven't they? Yeah. Because I was uh, quite I, surprised how powerful OBS is. I mean, which is open source and available freely. I mean, it's probably not the most intuitive thing, but the functionality that it gives you is is quite remarkable, to be honest. Yeah, I think our parents would uh, would struggle to uh, operate yeah. it, but our, the likes of you and I, who are used to configuring 
uh, audio inputs and video outputs and uh, all that sort of thing. If, if, you, if you've dabbled with uh, music technology and its associated equipment for quite some time, it, 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 uh, it, 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 it's, it's fairly easy to, uh, to configure, especially you know, with the benefits of a couple of uh, YouTube tutorials. Yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, are you using your MacBook at the moment? I, I am using my MacBook. The the one thing I've noticed is that again the the camera. The, I think this is 2012. Right. The MacBook I'm using at the moment, and that hmm, maybe I need to perhaps uh, try and find some sort of external, you know, under fifty pound uh, web camera to just for these these low light conditions yeah. because I, I I do find I'm, I am quite pink. What what am I like? Because I'm I, using I, I, my 2015 MacBook Pro. I th uh, you're coming across uh, very very neutral. Okay. Very neutral. There's no pink hue at all. That's good. So this um, kind of because this is more like a deep dive weekly review kind of session. So in terms of anything else that you've got planned to try this week. Well, as I say, uh, this week I'm going to be um, digging out my audio interface, connecting it to my Mac, see if I can use Zoom and at least upgrade the audio quality. So uh, I'd, I'd forgotten I had this uh, this SM58. That looks like um, it's never been used. It's it, it, This is it. It's, uh, it, it. I think it's part of my old setup, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Talking so, of I'd, old setups, I believe yeah. you've been working on something new. Uh, something new for my old band, yes. So I never uh, thought it's literally. I thought hell would have frozen over before this happened. It's <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing what we uh, did. We not discuss this last week. Yeah, but I just but, I, I, I'm still in disbelief. I know uh, one of the benefits of returning to electronic music is the fact that you don't necessarily uh, need any additional musicians as long as you've got your digital audio workstation. <laughs> so actually, talking to your DA. DAW is up updated to the latest Pro Tools, and it's added some nice functionality, which is which is good. So, so what uh, what version of Pro Tools is that now? I'm on twelve, 12 point. Tw no, no, no. It's like I think it's like twenty twenty point ten point three or something. Oh, the, sure. they've rebadged it. They've rebadged it. Yeah. So it's uh, it, it's 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 pretty solid. So I'm enjoying using that. So. And obviously, by being able to bring in the, the client in within the session remotely, I've already actually started doing that with some of my existing clients. So I'm able to keep up some work, which has been good. So, yeah, so to me, it's like it's like I've had this web presenter box for quite a while. And I've, you know, I've known the potential. But again, a bit like you. Oh, I'll do it another day. I'll do it another day, and then suddenly you're like, actually, I'm going to set this up pretty much in the studio permanently now. So all I need to do is just literally turn it on. So um, you know, so and I will be, you know, I think if anything, we'll be doing. Well, I certainly will be doing more content more frequently and stuff like that. So yeah, it's all good. So I mean, uh, if you, the viewer, have you got any um, any? I need to change this because it's you at the moment i'm the bigger well no um if you the viewer or listener have got any experiences yourself that you would like to share with us write in the comment section beneath and yeah have was, you got anything to, else to say i was i was going to say if anybody has started doing something differently if, over the past uh two to three weeks that they haven't done before and they've uh, found it to be a success contact the show let us know and we could even Maybe even get them uh, get them on remotely well, on we, uh, on the next show. Couldn't we do that with Google Hangouts or even use Zoom? It would probably I, make I, more I, sense I, to use Zoom because that I way I'll Zoom. have to. So I'll have to get involved in that. Any ideas? Who you know? Or are we going to wait to see if anyone responds? If if somebody responds, then uh, maybe uh, we'll 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 just take uh, each show as it comes uh, the one thing i will say obviously you know we've been discussing the the fact that that we've, we've got all the, this 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 newfound time uh, with which to uh, do all, all you know all this ad additional research and all the things that we've, we've never necessarily had time before if you're one of those people that isn't necessarily coping well in the current set of circumstances if if you're finding that maybe you know your uh, your your income has, has somewhat decreased and you're not necessarily having a a, a, you know, a good time of it at the moment. Don't feel 
obliged and almost that you're under obligation to do more stuff than than you've ever done before yeah. in in terms of you know in, in terms of your overall level of well-being if what's going to be best for you is actually just putting your feet up and using this time to actually recharge your batteries that's perfectly fine i have seen a lot of people going if you don't come out of this crisis by having you know x number of new skills and to have completed that project that you know it, it, then you're a, you're a bit of a loser. It's, it's like that's no no no. It's like you yeah. cope with the current the present situation in the best way for you because you've got to come out of this at the end of it and then try and carry on yeah. as normal. So don't necessarily feel uh, obliged to be working massively proactive. Or- yeah, if that's not going to be best for you know for your overall um, general mental health and and well being, don't set yourself some some unrealistic sort of targets if 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 you're one of those those people that would use this time better as downtime then then that's absolutely fine but you know if if like us you you're seeing these little windows of of free time that we'd rather not have but we do have then uh, yeah we're uh, we're going to use them to the the best of our abilities and uh, seeing where it takes us it's like the way I look at it at the moment is I've had a three-week holiday in St. Helens. I never thought I'd actually be having a three-week holiday in St. Helens, but there you go. And actually, I used some of the downtime to finish watching The Good Place last night. Oh, uh, I think that the very final episode they shouldn't have had, they should have had just the episode before. That would, that would have boxed it off neatly for me. It's sad, isn't it? It, it is a little sad, but uh, Do you think they'll do a season anyway. five, or is that it? I, I think that's that's it now. That's your lot. It's sad. You, you can move on to other things now. I know I'm on the Tiger King. I've only just started. Uh, I'm a bit I've, I've, late I've, to the party, but you know. I know. I've I've, I've yet to enjoy uh, it. Everyone everyone says it's completely and utterly bonkers. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. Anybody who has 187 tigers or big cats has got to be slightly. I mean. There's cat lady, old cat lady, and then there's this, and that's just a whole new level. It, it is next level stuff. Next level stuff. Right, right, well, Greg. That, that concludes uh, the, the first of our lockdown diaries. Yes. Um, write in the comments beneath. Subscribe. Smash that bell. You know what you need to do. And let us know what you have been up to this past seven days, and maybe what you're uh, you're looking to do with all this spare time that you now have. Okay, we'll see you next week. Yeah, stay safe, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.